Yeah, so we're, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna talk about uh, a quiet place today. Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm gonna talk about the movie which was directed by John Krasinski and also starring him alongside his wife, Emily Blunt. The movie is unique and suspenseful from the very beginning and I gotta say, another thing that caught my eye was the cinematography was fantastic. The landscape shots of the wilderness and of the abandoned town are phenomenal. So if you don't know, the story is about this family who are surviving a post-apocalyptic world and they are, they're trying to survive and not get killed by these monsters that feed on people who make noise. It is actually a pretty horrifying plot and the runtime is only an hour and a half and the pacing is just perfect and the hour and a half feels like it's maybe a half hour long. It is a scary movie, it's suspenseful. The actors were able to convey many emotions without saying a single word most of the time. The characters also implemented sign language or what I think is sign language and it was pretty effective, you know? It didn't distract from what was happening in the scene. So the cinematography was able to capture the little details that helped the audience understand what was happening without anybody just telling you things, which is great. This is a visually strong movie. It is, to me, filmmaking 101. This movie could have gone the entire thing without completely any dialogue if it really wanted to. This movie is a visual masterpiece because it's able to show so much and convey a wide range of emotions and messages. From the very beginning of the movie, the story establishes what's going on, why things are the way they are, as much as the audience really needs needs to know, so the film doesn't drag at all later, conflict that is set up at the beginning of the movie is resolved by the end. And it is such an organized movie when you look at it. There are also some details present at the beginning of the film that come to play later on as well. So the characters in the film all have a lot going on. John Krasinski, he's trying to keep the family together, he's trying to be the father figure and also a good husband. The kids have conflict too, they're not perfect people, I'm glad that they're not painted as perfect little kids because they make mistakes and it's obvious when they do. My only critique is two kids in this film, they act really stupid in my opinion. But I'll look past it because some things that happen are important for the plot and it makes sense later on and the kids learn something. And I gotta just be a little less critical on them too because the acting was great, it was just the way it was written it seemed a little too like, why would they do that one thing? There were going to be obvious consequences if they do that one thing. But kids do dumb things. That's, yeah. This is a movie of consequence. And of tension and frustration. Emily Blunt's character I think faces some of the biggest struggles in the movie, by far. When we find out more about Emily Blunt's character, I'm like, oh no, this is gonna be a crazy ride. <laughs> so she has to deal with a bunch of different things besides these monsters that are trying to kill people, and her arc in the movie is pretty human. What I like about Emily Blunt's character in the film is she deals with some of the biggest problems. Like, she has to deal with the most problems in the film, and she is not a flawless character. She has her issues, and in the film, I think she's a little too hard on herself for certain things. It's kind of like in our human nature to be kind of hard on ourselves. But it's interesting because she has a lot of internal conflict and external conflict. The things that happen to her in this movie are insane. I could never imagine dealing with the things that she has to deal with in the movie. And she has to be a good mother and a good wife and just a good leader. I like her arc. She learns a lot. Most of the characters in this movie, they learn and they grow and they change by the end. And it makes the film rewarding and pleasing and rewatchable. Most of the things that happen in this movie are logical and they make sense. This film is also just full of excitement and crazy twists and turns and interesting concepts. Again, this movie relies heavily on the cinematography to show visually what is happening more than anything. And of course, it relies on the actors to do a fantastic job without letting a single word spill from their lips. The cinematographer though, her name is Charlotte Bruce Christensen. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. If I'm butchering it, I'm sorry. I'm gonna leave a link for information information down in the description because this is just a very, I think a very interesting movie. This movie is terrifying, exciting, action-packed, it's creative. This movie reinvents the end of the world genre of movies. Emily Blunt's character by far is the most interesting one in the film. The kids also, at least one of the kids is interesting. I think more could have been done as far as one of the kids goes. John Krasinski's arc is also pretty impactful. The third 
third act does some really creative stuff. And the ending was incredibly interesting and unique. You know, once the credits rolled, I wanted more. And that's what a movie should do. A good movie, in my opinion, should start a little late and then end before you want it to. You gotta want more. The editing was fantastic. The sound department in this film, of course, did a really good job. And without the sound, the movie wouldn't have the same weight, I think. Because even when the characters aren't talking verbally, there are a lot of other sounds. So the sound production and the sound editing were superb. And with the cinematography, it made for quite an exciting ride. I'm gonna give this movie a five out of five, easily. You know what, no, six out of five. I like it that much. So yes, if you like this movie, please let me know. If you didn't like it, let me know and let me know why. It was a nice ride and it was enjoyable. It was a nice treat, okay? Please make sure to like, comment, and most importantly, most, most importantly, please subscribe to me. Uh, just do whatever you want. All right, thank you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I like this movie a lot. Very excited about it. This movie's been on my watch list for quite some time. Finally found enough time to watch it.